so I have been having the itch to rearrange. So guess what we're gonna do today? Rearrange the bedroom since I can't do the living room by myself. And we will probably rearrange the guest room too after we're done with all of this. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. You guys can watch. I have about an hour. I need to set an alarm. I have about an hour before I have to get eaten up and dressed. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Gonna start rearranging our room. So here's how it's gonna go. Bed will end up over here. Reading nook will end up right there. TV and stuff will end up over there. Filming wall will be right here. So my desk and everything like that will be right there. So, I was excited. Let's get it. you guys so it only took me an hour to do this Ethan's gonna be late to school but um yeah this is what it looks like got that clothes to put up I gotta move these pictures over here and then move all of my background background stuff over here so yeah that is what it looks like I had to move the bed over that way more so that way whenever I set up my lights and stuff I have room but yeah that's what it looks like, you guys. I love it. All right, you guys. So this is what the wall ended up looking like. And then, like I said, I kind of want to use this corner sometimes too for Jesus chats. So that's why that is set up like that. And yeah. And then I just, I decided to do stair steps just to switch it up a little bit. I don't know. Yes. With the boys' um, ultrasounds. So yeah. That's Ethan, Carson, and King. So yeah. Hi. And then, say hi. You need to clean your face. 
And then I went ahead and, uh-uh, put them back, put them back. Went ahead and rearranged the boys' room. So that's what's done. Of course, I had to move a couple of the pictures because of, I need to find a bee or something for Bryson to hang up right there. So yeah, and then, oh, did I also mention <laughs> I switched my laundry day to Monday, so laundry's getting done too. But I also rearranged the guest room. I don't know, y'all. Sometimes, sometimes your house just calls for a good rearranging. Also, still haven't fixed my hair. Haven't started editing, but it's a it's a it's a no edit video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that up and well, like do my intro and stuff and my outro and just overlay some music and then save it, upload it, and then. I'm gonna fix my hair, but I think I'm gonna sit down and rest before I get up to fix my hair while I have the chance before the laundry comes out the dryer. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Eve, I'm out of the house. We are going into the Dollar Tree, and the boys are super excited. I'm freaking washing our face mask right now, of course. The day we want to get out the house, I'm washing our face mask, but. Luckily, I have all these disposable ones that Uber sent me. Freaking song was loud. Are you? Are you? Anyways, luckily, I have these disposable ones that Uber sent me for work, so using these. So, yeah, we're going to go into the Dollar Tree. I'll start recording when I get in there because I got to get all the babies out the car. Okay. She's finally out of quarantine, y'all. Bryson, get King's hand. They were impatient. Anyways, we're here at the Dollar Tree to buy a whole bunch of stuff we don't even need. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna put this meme up right now. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, we're walking in, y'all. <laughs> So as you guys know, I decorate for winter, not for Christmas, and I found these little Let It Snow things. I'm so excited. So, yeah, about to go through here and see what kind of snowflakes and stuff I could find. I got a cup for one of my friends because she's all about the Christmas spirit. So, yeah. Can you guys tell how winter decoration shopping is going? So I want to do like a theme of like white gold and silver so i'm about to find some white gold and silver like flowers and then i think i'll be done with decorating you guys all right you guys i think we had i think we had a, a, a successful winter decoration shopping trip a lot of the stuff i gotta make and put together but we did it time to go get ee -E. come on oh hush we already don't see each other as is. Like we hang out maybe like once a month. So whenever she went on quarantine, it was really like dang, like no chance of hanging out with anybody during the week because my bestie, if y'all didn't know, she's a single mom, so she has to work. She don't get to stay home yet. Her husband's coming, but she don't get to stay home yet. And so I'm always by myself and it got lonely. And like I said, like, Oh, good to do one of our usual Dollar Tree trips. And now I am all set for winter. Y'all, cops are everywhere right now. Anyways, the house is all set for winter now because I still have stuff from last year, like the towels and stuff. Um, but I found a tablecloth. I seen a tablecloth set at Costco that I want to go buy. It's like 20 bucks, but like an entire table set. So I want to go get that. Everything's white and gold. So I'm wondering if I should buy the red tablecloth or like the silver blue, the white silver bluish. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Maybe I might stick with the white one. Even though that makes me nervous because of the boys. <sighs> makes me real nervous but yeah we're headed to get Ethan and 
then to get my hubby and then to go home and then I need to clean my face with wet chasel when I get home so that way I don't break out so yeah see you guys in a little bit all right you guys so I just got dinner chicken express I wanted to show you guys what I got from the Dollar Tree but I picked up six of these they're like these snowflake things and I want to hang them on like the wall where it's like halfway like the half wall that goes to the kitchen like trickling down snowflakes so I picked up some of those and this is the first year I've ever seen Dollar Tree have these oh you didn't okay so like I said I picked up six of those I also got Bryson two toy trucks because he just threw them in the basket and I was like, it's the Dollar Tree, why not? I also picked up this sign because it was very wintry, so it just says it's the most wonderful time of the year. Didn't say anything about Christmas or anything like that, just had like some snow and stuff, so I picked that up. I got two of these Let It Snow things, so one for my YouTube background and then one for the truck. half wall in the living room. Every time I smell like pine cones, I'm gonna trip. I got two of these snow globes, again, one because, one for the living room and one for my background. And then I want to go back and get a pack of snowflakes and tape them to the wall for my background on my videos. So, just a little snowman, snow globe that says peace. For my flowers this year, I bought these vases. Let me get the other one out. I don't know why she didn't wrap this in paper. She used 10,000 bags. So yeah, two of these, but I want to wrap one in gold. So they had these adhesive things. So cute. What? Like acting like you're wrapping it and applying it, and then you like do it all slow. So cute. <laughs> But yeah, I bought two because, I bought two of these because obviously like one wasn't big enough. So I gotta cut like an inch off of this and then find something else to wrap in this gold. I don't know, we'll see what I find wrapping that gold. And then for the other one, I bought this silver one to wrap around this one. So I could only find silver studded ribbon this is six feet so i thought six feet would be enough hopefully hopefully six feet is enough for this and then i bought this blue to put it on oh y'all <laughs> brian i'm all i bought this glue <laughs> Pins. Pins. yeah these are pins i'm throwing them into a gift bag for one of my friends I like to give gift bags that show that I put like thought into it. So I texted her today and I was just like, hey, what's your favorite color? Ooh. Abigail, because her birthday's coming up. So I was like, hey, what's your favorite color? She was like, anything bright. And I was like, great, perfect. They had these really pretty gel pens there. And then I also got her these mechanical pencils. I don't know if she uses pencils, but I thought that these were just super cute, right? And then I also got her this, she loves mugs. Like she has a whole mug collection at her house. So I got her this snowman mug. I thought it was super cute. Cause the little nose points out. So cute. But I think I found what I'm gonna put them, them diamonds on. Look, I bought this little mirror. So maybe I could put the diamonds right here, the gold. And then, flowers. I bought all the flowers. Like I said, I wanna do silver and gold. So I bought all the flowers. I bought these ones to go together. And then I bought these gold ones right here. Yeah, so then I bought these gold ones right here to go together. Cause these white ones have gold glitter on them. So we will be DIYing this stuff tomorrow. And then I got my friend this scarf. Cause she likes to wear head wraps anytime she's Bible studying or she goes to church and she likes to use scarves. And since she said her favorite color was like bright, I got her 
these. And then just for funsies, I got her these really bright socks. Cause it's getting cold and I thought she could wear them whenever she wears boots. And then a card, of course. And then a spray bottle. Y'all cannot tell y'all how long we have been needing a spray bottle, like an actual spray bottle. And me and my sister randomly walked down the um, hair aisle. So that's why I grabbed that mirror. And then I was like, you know what? I need one of these. So I grabbed this one because it was the color's cute and all of that. And then this is the glue I was talking about. I got this glue to glue the ribbon to this. And then I bought these gift bags because I got a couple of things for my friend's daughters for watching my boys one day. So I think they like me. And then this is a gift bag for my friend's little gift. So yeah, you guys, that's everything I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm excited to. And then I also did get her a card. I love Dollar Tree because you wouldn't think it, but the Dollar Tree has like a lot of like Christian based stuff. Like they had a bunch of y'all look at this hair. Y'all just letting me talk to y'all like this. Yeah, but they have a lot of biblical be bl biblical based stuff from coloring books to learning stuff, books in general, cards. Even some of my thank you cards are have Bible scriptures on them and I got them from the Dollar Tree too. So I got her this little card right here, so. I feel like I'm outside your head. Yeah, you guys, that is everything I got. So I'm about to eat. We're gonna watch something. I just wanted to show y'all what I got. Yeah, see y'all later. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm about to work out, but I thought I'd do something different for you guys because Brian and I are prepping for another lockdown because we just feel like that's where it's gonna go. So I just wanted to show you guys a workout where if you had limited equipment, so all I'm going to be using today are resistance bands and a jump rope. So those are pretty easy to find right now. I know dumbbells aren't easy to find. Mats you can find at TJ Maxx pretty easy, but I'm only gonna be using resistance bands, which we found at TJ Maxx, and a jump rope, which I feel like you can find anywhere because not too many people think of jump roping. So what I'm gonna do is a full body workout. I'm gonna do two exercises for legs. Um, well, for each part of the leg, so you'll see. And then I'm gonna do two different arm, like two bicep workouts, two tricep workouts, two back workouts, and two chest workouts. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do that. And the only cardio we're gonna be doing is the jump ropes after each body set. So I wanted to show you guys a couple ways to set up, and we're gonna use the bathroom door right here. Oh. And by the ways, good morning. So I bought this thing for Brian and I found it for 15 bucks at Target. I don't know how expensive these are. I don't know how available they are, but this is really for pull-ups. And so you just stick it on the door like this. And it can hold you. So I can't do a pull-up. So I can't do a pull up, but I can hang and I like to do that just to build up my upper body strength. So for today, I will also be using an ab roller, which is pretty easy to find actually. Go to TJ Maxx if you're having trouble finding like ab rollers or resistance bands. I'm going to be using my glute bands, but for the legs, you don't need the glute bands. So they're definitely optional. So these are things that are pretty easy to find because like I said, I know dumbbells are super hard to find because I've been wanting some 15s and 12s for the longest, cannot find them. So, ab roller, resistance bands. So I'm going to tie, I'm gonna show you two different ways. So the first one is to just loop it. And these we would use for our tricep pull downs. So, don't let it go all the way back up. Keep that tension, flex at the back. And then turn around, same thing. Keep the tension, flex. So, or, hey, I'm not gonna use this because I don't want y'all staring at the back of the whole time. So, I don't want y'all trying to see how dirty my bathroom is. So your next option is throw this over the door. 
close the door on it. And you can. Same exact thing. And y'all that burns. So, we are going to start with triceps first. And I'm not going to be counting sets. I'm going to do 45 seconds. Three sets of 45 seconds of each exercise. So that's what we're gonna do. And I am using, I'm using Ethan's tablet for the timer because I'm using my phone to record. And yeah, so I'm actually gonna set this for 46 for 50 seconds just to give myself time to set up. So. Man, that was a good workout. I'm about to get dressed and ready. That was a good workout. I'm sweaty, like real sweaty and nasty. And I'm about to clean myself up, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Peace. I have fixed hair, but your girl still ain't got dressed. I'm probably not going to. Um, I'm uploading today's video. I'm going to go ahead and edit Thursdays and Fridays. And then I'm going to start working on next week's because next week is whenever we'll be out of town and then I won't be able to get the vlog up until Saturday for next week but I am going to go ahead and let it um upload the 30th I think it is I'm going to start working on the week after next and get that Monday Tuesday and Thursday video up I think I have enough filmed for that but anyways you guys yeah I'm just sat down for lunch it's currently 1 37 Oh, I gotta hurry up and eat because we gotta go get Ethan. The boys are sitting down too. So I made these crock pot chicken ranch tacos on Sunday for dinner with some Spanish rice. So I just put some spring mix lettuce. These are the carb healthy, carb smart mission tortillas and some vegan cheese. So yeah, gonna be super good. That recipe already called for salsa inside the crock pot. So I didn't add any extra salsa. See, so yeah, that's just that chicken ranch talk, uh, chick, chicken chicken ranch chicken I guess Spanish rice vegan cheese and spring mix and then I have my kombucha right here that's the trilogy brand I have no idea what flavor it is mm, I like the ginger lemonade one better from Costco so I might stick to that one because I don't know how I feel about this this one's a little bit strong like this one when they say this one like 
because kombucha has because kombucha is fermented it has alcohol in it well the alcohol in this kombucha is strong like it ain't like the ginger lemonade one like this one's not bad it's just strong so i kind of chug this one i don't i can't sip it like i do the ginger lemonade but health is health and health don't always taste good but these chicken tacos are good so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get today's video posted and start working on next week while i eat and then at about two like right at two me and the boys will leave the house to get at ethan school by 205 and then we'll just cheer there chill there for a little bit but yeah i'll see you guys when later i guess i don't know later okay whatever bye good morning guys so i didn't end the vlog last night because once i picked up brian from work we are trying to find a second car so that took up most of our day and then like, we came home i had my bible study and then we ate and then we came to bed so that's pretty much all i did last night so right now i'm about to try to do my i'm not gonna try i'm going to do my daily read and write the word and then i'm going to edit friday's vlog and then hopefully um or start editing friday's vlog because at 6 40 i'm gonna work out again and today i'm only gonna focus on arms but i am gonna do like so i'm gonna do three different arm workouts per like three for bicep three for tricep and then but between each like individual workout so like let's say i do curls so after i'm done with my three sets of curls i'm going to do my one minute of jump rope so yeah, I'm gonna do that after each. So technically I will be jump roping for a total of six minutes. So yeah, just gonna keep my body moving this morning, but not gonna record it today because yesterday's workout was so long. So yeah, I will see you guys um, later once the day gets started and whatnot. I'm also washing our bed sheets because if you can tell, my face is breaking out really bad and I'm not sure why. The only other thing that I can think of is my face only starts breaking out like this when our sheets and pillowcases and stuff need to be washed. So that's why I'm washing those. Um, but also, does retinol make people break out like with pimples? Or is retinol just like, cause I hear like people who have an effect from retinol, like it's usually just like their skin starts to peel and stuff like that. But have you tried the Murad retinol use cream and did it make you break out? Because I feel like if it was a use cream, like I would break out everywhere, but it's just one right here and mostly on this cheek. And I think it's on this cheek because I started hugging Brian a lot at night and so, I lay on this side a lot on the pillows. So I don't know, let me know. I'm about to get this all done so that way we can, you know, work out and buy some things. So I showed you guys that I was washing and I don't know why, but I don't wash this, this, I don't wash this body pillow cover that often because whenever I wash it, all the like fur gets stuck together and it gives me the heebie-jeebies for whatever reason. So, and this is why I don't wash it that often. But if you have something that's fur like this, just get a brush. And if it gets stuck together like that, just brush it out. And it separates it back to normal. Just It's just time consuming and that's why I don't wash it that often because ain't nobody got time to be sitting here brushing a freaking pillowcase. I mean, also not necessary on my part it's just whenever it looks like that it gives me the heebie-jeebies so i like whenever it looks fluffy like whenever i bought it y'all but yeah if you just brush it out and you've been scared to wash your first stuff because because of that happening as soon as you get it out of the dryer just brush it out look how much better that looks ah i love it i love it i love it ah Ooh yeah. Now it don't give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> I'm so weird. And I'm in so much pain, like my stomach is hurting. And I'm like, why the heck is my stomach hurting like this? For one, I had dairy last night, but all that gas and other stuff came out this morning. So I was feeling better. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, so whenever I ordered my sandwich, I was like, oh man, I forgot to say no cheese. So I took the cheese off my sandwich. But the latte, I forgot to tell them oat milk instead of whole milk. 
and I am, I am in so much pain right now and I'm so mad at myself for forgetting. It hurts. I just laid on the stomach, on, on the stomach, just laid on the bed on my stomach for like five minutes trying to get my stomach to calm down and I felt a little bit better, but I was just like, why does my stomach hurt? I forgot to say with oat milk instead of whole milk. Dag nabbit. Anyways, I'm trying to get Pick Monkey been tripping lately and I'm about to get real mad. So yeah. See y'all later. Hey guys, so I was trying to record King because every time I would type, he would get his little hand and like act like he was typing on my desk. And it was just the cutest thing. Bryson, put it back. And it was just the cutest thing of him pretending. And then Bryson is over here acting like me as well. He got his little tablet set up like a computer and his little chair. So this is what goes on whenever you guys are not seeing what's going on quit son so yeah. I'm so lucky I didn't paper cut your other <laughs> okay we're about to I'm about to go get you some food right now it's coming sit down son I know I can see what auntie Gordy's doing I want like some fur or something so yeah, maybe we'll see what my sister's doing. Meet up with her for lunch. Cause I need to go back to the Dollar Tree for a couple of things. For the Christmas decorations I'll send. Bryson, leave the paper alone. For the for the Christmas or the winter decorations that I told you guys that I was doing. Kid. Ma. Stop. Get down. But yeah. This is going on you guys. I'm uploading next Tuesday's video. I'm gonna up I'm gonna edit one more video for Thursday, but Friday for next week won't be done until obviously this week is done and it's only Thursday. I don't know why it feels like this week like it should be Friday already. I don't know. This is the first week that it's felt first time that it felt like that. This week is going by so slow. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Cause you're fine. I'm ugly. Come on, bro. Man, I love you. It's a do. I do, do, do. I do, I do. I'm sorry. I'm gonna jerk my dang arm off. I'm sorry. No pictures, please. No pictures. Papa Roxy. Papa Roxy. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we are calling it a night. I'm about to do some reading while Brian finishes watching this game, which will be over in about 10 minutes. And then, yeah, I, ended guys, up I thought I would do a little update. I am currently doing Hi. sit back now. I'm currently doing Uber Eats. I just picked Hi. Price It King. Don't start. I just picked up an order. It's hot. I should have brought a chungle, but I didn't. Hi. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to drop off an order right Hi. now. Oh, but yeah, I'm working, you guys. I don't have no idea where I'm going. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. I'm going to go drop off this order, and then we got a busy evening ahead of us. Let's see those cool moves. Wow. Y'all are the coolest kids on the block. I will not eat this. Y'all be careful. Don't hit each other. Woo! 
Go, Bryson. Go, Ethan. Ooh. You are so strong, Ethan. Ooh, Bryson, look at them muscles. Let me see them push-ups. Do them right. Ooh, Ethan. Go, boy. Show me something cool, Bryson. Dang, that was a big jump. A big jump and a daddy. Yeah. This is a frog jump. Oh, yeah? Yep. Wow, y'all are so cool. Hey, you guys. So today is Saturday. Um, I didn't end yesterday's vlog. So after you guys see the clip where me and the boys were home for about an hour, um, and they're just playing in my room. But I just wanted to go ahead and end this vlog. I know I suck at ending vlogs. I'm currently about to film a full face of first impressions. So that way I can film my haul. So that way I can then film my 1K giveaway video. So yeah, it's super good. And I'm gonna have a makeup lovers giveaway. There will be um, gonna be the giveaway video. Uh, but just saying thank you for you guys for you guys 1000 like thank you guys for 1000 subscribers and for those of you who constantly comment and thumbs constantly thumbs up those are uh, i can't see who thumbs up but those of you who are noticed in my comments all the time like just know that it's noticed i see you in my dms i see you on my views on my ig stories i see you in my comment section like i see you and it doesn't go unnoticed so just to say thank you for 1k and for you know that giveaway and um and then there will be a jesus chat style giveaway because i know not everybody loves makeup or some people don't believe in wearing makeup so i will be giving away your choice of a bible and a journal journal or if you have a bible journaling materials so i haven't bought that one yet but it will be bought i would just like to know the person's favorite color and if they would prefer to have a Bible that's easy to understand in a journal or a journal and like pens and highlighters and stuff like that. So that way they can get into Bible study. So, yeah, I just wanted to say I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and thumbs up this vlog. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh, look at my Texas shirt. Yeah, I found it at Plato's Closet for like four bucks. But I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. And next week, we will be in Georgia. Well, not when you're watching this, we're already in Georgia. But my next vlog will be of us in Georgia. So, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.